Here we go, lamb chops. Again, nothing crazy. Salt and pepper. A lot of things that salt and pepper in a really hot pan can do for you. Coconut oil. flavor. We know we're hot, right? We've seen a little smoke. I'm going to flip these guys over one at a time. Yeah, I like my lamb uh, about medium rare. Whether it's a lamb chop, rack of lamb, medium rare, medium. Kind of right in that range. So that's what we're going to go for here. Just get these going. I love the smell of that coconut, how it melds with the smell of the lamb. Powerful stuff. Salt and pepper on the back. And we'll just let these guys cook here for a minute. We've got our beets here. We roasted these guys off uh, yesterday. Peel them. Let's pop that up. Some of these leaves, fresh marjoram into our beets. And I can feel that these stalks are nice and delicate, so I'm not afraid to get a little bit of them in there, but I wouldn't get this bottom woody part. And we'll go one more, this guy right here. This is our aged balsamic vinegar. Over a tablespoon of that. Some olive oil. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And that's it. Just simple little beet salad. Yep. Alright, so we're going to set up a plate here. Check our lamb chops quick. Got a nice little sear going. That's a good sear right there. That one off. Nice and hard, thick crust. Microwave. Well, this we already have ready in our quiver. Parsnip puree. Just nuke that in the mic for two minutes. We'll give this another couple minutes. We always go for odd numbers. Okay, so three instead of four. Three will be enough. There's probably, I don't know, two ounces of meat on each one. So pretty simple, nice and quick when you got some stuff ready in your fridge. Balsamic beets with marjoram, parsnip puree, and lamb chops.